bless you. Hey, I want to call Auntie Annie out. It's a time I want to pray. Auntie Annie, please come up. You want to pray? Open your Bible with me to Romans 12 15. Romans 12 15, what does he say? Romans 12 15, anybody there? Please. 12 15. Amen. And to go into some session of prayer. We're going to pray for you and use you as a point of contact. Praise God. Hallelujah. No more shattered dreams in our lives. Amen. No more aborted destinies. Amen. 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 Romans 12, 15. Anybody there? Rejoice with them that do rejoice. Amen. And weep with them that weep. Amen. Very, very clear. Yeah. Do you need any explanation? No. Do you know there are people who are weeping now? Yes. That's the part we need to do. We know Auntie Annie lost her husband, um, very blessed memory, the dead is killed, the first day of this year, and God purposefully crossed him over because of he saw the heart of his wife. Amen. And Dr. Chi is not here, uh, the husband, the brother in Nigeria, they are laying his remains to rest today. Um, so we want to pray for these people. Amen. Amen. Our thoughts are with them. We might not physically weep, but there is a way we can identify with the weeping. Amen. And stand shoulder and shoulder with them. Praise God. Amen. So we want to pray for Sister Annie and her family, her children, that everything, everything that is, you know, it's like a broken thing. It's like you have a vase of flour and it just breaks out of your hand. That the Lord Jesus in Luke 4 18 says he will heal the broken heart. And um, let's lift up our voice, please. And we can stand, we stand if you can. And just pray for Dr. Chi and the funeral is going on in Nigeria. Her brother, amen. A young man with three children, you know, young man just went to bed and you know, wake up in the morning. You know, there's nothing we can say about it. You know, let's pray. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Before you pray, let me say this. Yesterday, last night, when I came from the ministry, from the women's program, I went to, and I came home and met my husband. And he was looking one guy. I said, what's the matter? I said, you won't believe it. I said, what happened? He said, the guy that went to leave me at home last night, that they just phoned me, can you come and cover night shift? He said, no, my wife is away. Um, she has an assignment. I have to stay home with the children. I can't come to work tonight. He said, what of the person that should cover? This is a person that normally doesn't come late. He will come 30 minutes before the time for work. And it's about 30 minutes after clocking time, and he's not in. So the supervisor was like, oh, this is unlike him. Where he is, let me just give him a call to just check what's happening to this guy. You know, it's weekend. It's, it has never happened before. And when he ring the phone, the mom picked the phone and he said, he's passed on. And he said to me, the guy who lived me last night, yesterday when I finished work. Attack. And he's about 20 something to help him. Why? English. So, I mean, and I, I don't know how you feel like for the mom. To, to yeah. hold that phone and they were expecting yeah. that the workplace would call yeah. and then to break the news to the colleague that, hey, this is it. And there are people in this room who will testify in their place of work, in their, about two people have died this month. Somebody left and was supposed to come to work again. There's another case I had about this month, was supposed to come and be phoned, just realized that the guy is dead. So you see, um, we should appreciate God mm -hmm. for what we have. Yes. At the same time, we and then we want to stop the avenger of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We want to come against all this hearing of untimely death, sudden death. I mean, what to a young twenty-something-year boy? They will say heart attack. Mm -hmm. That one sleep, it doesn't wake up. They will say heart attack. I mean. Mm -hmm. Cardiac arrest, all these things. So lift up your voice and as we pray that God will comfort this family. Let's come against every hour of untimely death, every spirit of untimely death, every power that is carrying out. Lift up your voice and pray for me. We will not weep anymore. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus we come against our untimely death. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, as we pray that you I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.
We don't want promises from anyone to take any more souls, any more lives that is straight with them of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody from the congregation just lift up a prayer for this people. Just lift up a prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Anybody? Just lift up a prayer. We are spirit filled people. Don't, Amen. don't talk, think about what, how you will sound. Mm. Just pray from your heart. Amen. Father, we thank you this evening. We give you all the glory and give you all the honor. Yes. We lift our money before you right now. Yes. That you know them more than we do. Yes. You are with them more than we are with them. Yes. We pray tonight that Lord protect them. Yes. Divine protection. Yes. That you want to confess until that it is well with their soul. Yes. It is well with yes. their life. Yes. It is well with their going out and their coming yes. in. That she will see no more tears in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. That Lord, you will be her friend. That you will be the friend of the in the name of Jesus. And we use it as a point of contact for everybody mourning now in the body of Christ. And Lord, let your heart be filled with joy. Let your heart be filled with joy. Let your heart be filled with joy. And let your mind before you Jehovah. The Lord may their mind not go wandering. May they not say, Where is our God? And may they say, Because this is the doing of you, the living God. May they say that Lord, you have been with me in my steps to step day in life. The Lord we will give you all the glory and we will give you all the honor. We thank you for your wonderful children. We thank you for your love. We thank you for the peace in their minds. We thank you for the peace in their minds. We thank you for the peace around them. We give you all the glory and we give you all the honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah.